So in previous session, we have seen how we can write a batch of text, how we can invoke and many more things. So if you remember, when you started batch apex, we talk, okay, batch apex when implementing the database.batchable interface. So what is happening there? So there is three method. One as a start, one as execute, one as finish. So start and finish execute once in the execution and execute method executes depending on the total number of record we have. Okay, so now after all the jobs are completed in this batch, so if you want to execute any post execution logic, for example, I want to send the email, okay, to the user who have executed this batch job about the details of the batch job, how many record processed, how many record got failed, that information. Then how can I do it? So that logic where I can put it in the start method or execute or finish. So that we have to see. So now here we talk about finish method. Finish method says if you have any post execution logic, which you want to execute, please go and write inside the finish method. Okay, so what kind of logic I want to write. So if you remember, I have written one batch apex in the previous example. So we will go and execute that batch apex logic. So let me show you that batch apex what we had before. Let me resume it. So if you see, we have a batch apex account batch. Okay, now I want to execute this logic. Let me reopen it. Go to my developer console. If you want, you can execute using your uh, any ID. Uh, I, I just prefer to execute here itself. Okay. So now what I need to do here, if I go to my batch apex, I want to write some other, other logics. Uh, let me close the tabs. Okay, some other logics which need to be executed in my finish method. So what is the logic I want to write? I want to check, very important thing, remember this one i want to check on this job when you execute when you execute this job what is the job status okay how many record got processed what is the error that information i want to take it so from where i can get this information so this is the most important thing so now there is one object we have so whenever any batch appears executing or remember whenever any batch apex executing so you start a batch apex with your start then execute method and your finish method so whenever a batch starting so there is one entry in a object called as async apex i'll show you this object what it looks like so async apex job is one object let me see what is this object and what information we can get it. So in Salesforce, the beauty of Salesforce, there are plenty of documents we have. You can see all object informations, their column informations and what are they. So now if I go and search here, a sync apex job, so Salesforce, I just search with this keyword to get that document. See, now you can see some reference guide I'm getting. Okay, so now you see a sync apex job is one object okay represents an individual apex sharing recalculation job a batch apex job a method with the future annotations or a job that implement cable so what it means so this async apex job going to help us if you have a sharing recalculation job or any batch apex job or anything happening in the future method or anything happening in the cable that information so we can get in async apex job okay now what is my scenario my scenario i am executing this batch job and this batch job information i want to get it so now can i say i can use async apex job object to get the information yes i can do it so what are the information i can get so for which class this batch apex running when this is got completed, what is the cron trigger ID? What is the status? What are the job item processed? What is the job type? As I said, it have the features, recalculation, batch apex, many more things. So what is the method, number of error, many information we have. So what I want to do, I want to query this information. For this batch job, what I'm executing. Then I want to compose an email and I will send to the user. So two object I'm targeting here. 
So now one part I'm saying here, I will get the job details. Remember it. I'm going to get the job details. What job details? My batch job details. So where I'll get this batch job details? As I said, in the object called as async apex job object. So I am going to query this. So I get the detail. Second, what I want to do? I want to send email. So how to send email through the code? So there is something called single email message we will use single email message. Okay. So now if you see there is something called single email message. So Salesforce, if you search, you will get plenty of methods available for us to use to send an email. Anyhow, I will cover the sending of email through the code how in, in upcoming sessions. But for now, the example to complete, I am going to use this method, okay? This class logic. And what are the information we have, I will show you, okay? Two part of it. One, batch job details to get and sending the email. One by one, we'll do. When I want to do, I want to do this when my job is completed. So when my job is completed means when my finish method is going to execute in the end of that job. So now first what I want to do, totally what, what is my target? My target, send email to user who execute this batch, or if you want, you can send to any, any email address, okay, what you want, okay. So email about what? Email about job details. Okay. In like whenever you write a bad job, this this is complete code. What I'm going to code, you can you can use and simply you can change the content what you want. So first I want to query my Apex job. Correct? So now when I say I want to query my Apex job, what it means? I am going to query my object. Which object? Object nothing but async apex job. Or well, that is going to represent my batch apex job information. So now simply I'm going to do my async apex job. For example, I say it are job details. Okay. I'm going to write SQL on this object. Simply can I say select ID from which object? Let me write in good formatting from async apex job object okay so in the async apex job if you see in your org there are many many bad jobs running which one to get it we have to put a condition so i i i have to put some kind of where condition what is the condition so i want for the current job current batch what is running matching with that id how i will get if you see, I am using batchable context. So in the batchable context, let me show you this method also. Okay, so if I go to here, just search batchable context in Apex. Okay, in SOAP, Salesforce, for example. This is also one class. So this is, this is also one database.batchable interface. Okay, so if you go to batchable context, there is one method called get job ID. So it will return my current batch job ID. With passing that current batch job ID, I can get my informations. What, what I can get? I can get the details from my async Apex job. Let me write that, then you'll understand it. So simply I can say the current batchable context what I have, bc dot, what is the method? Get job ID. So now I am calling the current batch job what is there, account batch. For that batch job ID I pass, and I'm going to get the async Apex job details. Okay, so what are the column I need? So in the async Apex job, we have many columns. Okay, so now if I go to this object, <coughs> if I go to this object, so you can see I have a column like for which class or when this is got completed, current trigger ID, status, many things we have. Job item process, what is the job type? Let's, I want to get the status field. Just few of the column what I look for, I'm going to put it. Status, let's, I have one more column called extended status. 
Okay, you, you, you might be think what is status and external status. This is the status of the job, which nothing but uh, can be holding, queued, preparing, processing, completed, failed, what I have shown you before. Same way, there is one more field called extended status. Okay, what it means? If one more error occurred during the batch processing, this field will have the details. Okay, description of the past error. So if any errors, if you want to see that, I can query on the extended sectors. So if any error, I want to see how many errors, I can get the field number of errors. If I want to see what is the, uh, like job, how many job got processed. If I want to see that, I can go to the field called as, let's say total job item, total number of job item, what I have. Let's say I want to see how many job item got processed, see? different informations already available which we can use to query and get it and who created this i want to send them so simply i can say created by dot email okay these are the fields i created now i have my job details so once i have job details i have to uh, write some logic to send email with all details so what I do here, see, this also, if you want to, you can create a method and invoke from here. Right now, keeping it simple, just writing the logic here, okay? So whenever I want to send an email, what I can do, there is a class called as single email message, okay? I'm going to use this single email message, okay? Many method we have, we'll discuss this in detail, but to show this in the batch job, I'm just simply going to write the logic which you can use it, but I'll cover of this completely, how to send email uh, using Apex, the single email, using a single email message in Apex, okay? So now I'm going to use this class, messaging dot single email message. Simply I copy it from here. I'm going to my developer console. I instantiate my single email message, okay? Now, whenever you are sending the email, definitely you are sending to some address, so whatever the address I want to send, let's say I'm creating that address as a string array. Simply I say to address equal to allocating some memory to this array. So what is the address? So in my job details, I have a created by email. I'm going to send to that job details dot created by email. Okay. Only to this address I'm sending. If you want some other address, you can send also. So simply, what more I want to do? I want to set this to address as my address. So now, so this message what we have, instance of single email message. So if you see, there is one method called set to address. So what is the two address? The two address what I construct here, correct? So now when you get an email, definitely email have a subject. So simply can I say message dot set subject, correct? So you can write your string details or parameter details here, what you want to show in the subject. Let's see, I will say, account badge what is the status of this i want to say pass complete failed that i want to show only that simply i can say job details what i have queried dot status okay that goes in a subject and every email when you send it will have somebody message buddy so now I want to set a body here. Simply I can say message dot plain text body. So I want to set it. Set plain text body. You can set HTML body that I'll show you in detail. But for now, to cover this scenario, I'm simply writing a simple email message by writing or by using messaging dot single email message. So I instantiate single email message. I set what should be to address or who, who is going to receive this email. When they receive email, what is the subject line and what is the information or body I'm putting? Simply I'm saying records processed. How many records got processed? So that I can say job details dot. Simply I can say uh, total job item, for example. 
total job item what i put it here you can see okay total job item what is got processed and with that how many error and how many success we can say just i'm concatenating with string with how many error let's see job details let me copy and paste here job details dot uh, number of errors okay with nothing but i can say with failure if there is any failure you can see okay the number of errors what got we can say here record process this with this many failures simply i want to set this as my message body okay once it's done i have to send the email okay so to send the email i have to use a send email message a send email method of my messaging class simply i can say messaging dot send email so it takes parameter called messaging email correct so it messaging email nothing but this single email message i am going to take as a list collection what is the collection simply i can say new dot messaging dot single email message collection which contains my message so this is the logic what i have written this will help me to send a email from my finish method so what details it is taking it is taking what is my job details and out of that job what are the uh, who created uh, just get details of that job who created number of error total job item and what is the status and uh, instantiate my single email message set to whom i want to send set the subject line of my email and set the body of the email and send it simply let's i'm just changing this little bit to see the output let's i said public ownership to change to public now i am going to execute this batch job again and i will see to receive this email okay so to execute what we need to do if you remember before some time we did using my database dot execute batch okay that's i'm going to set two batch size for example okay now i'm going to execute it so now if you see in my batch job what is going to happen let me open it we'll monitor the status of it Let's go to setup and job. Okay, see, right now I ran my job processed. Okay. Now, if you see the email which I've received, see, account batch completed, record processed with seven with zero failure. Okay, so that way it helps me to send the email from my batch job or from anywhere. If you want, you can send simply. Key intake on this session to get the batch job details. Simply query on async Apex job with specified field. If you don't remember what are the field we have, as I said, simply go to async Apex job class. Okay, let me show you that. Async Apex job class or object, you can say, go to there, get the field. And secondly, instantiate single email message uh, object and set appropriate parameter like to address subject and a body. Then use messaging dot send email method to send the email. Anyhow, I'll cover this in more detail, but for now, you can see to send email from the finish method, we can use this. Thank you. Stay tuned for next session.